There are two ways to manage customer deposits on NetSuite. The first one is assuming that you create a customer deposit right from a sales order. Create deposit. There it is. You're going to click on this. And then what it will do is it will allow you to set the payment amount. Uh, it will let you know that you created this deposit from that sales order. Let you know which bank account that you received the money in. Put a memo for your GL impact and a check reference number for your bank reconciliation. Okay, if you've got some uh, mandatory locations, you're going to want to enter that. And it's as simple as this. You're just going to click on save. So once you do that, you're going to have a sales order with a customer deposit applied to it. And once you uh, bill, so you invoice that sales order, the customer deposit is already going to be applied to the invoice automatically. So you won't have to do anything. You won't have to uh, apply the customer deposit to the invoice. So this is the invoice that was created. And you see here that it is paid in full. And that within the related record that there's a deposit application. Okay, so there is a sales order, you create a deposit from it, and when you invoice the sales order, the, the deposit amount is applied to the invoice. Now, maybe the deposit isn't the full amount, the full invoice amount, that's fine. Let's say the invoice was for $1,000, and the deposit was only for 300 then the $300 are going to be applied to the invoice, and there's going to be $700 remaining to be opened and paid by the customer. So that's one way of doing things. The second way is uh, creating a customer deposit which isn't um, sourced or linked to any sales order. It's basically just a standalone customer deposit. Now to do this, you have to go to Transactions, Customers, and then you click on, where is it? Record Customer Deposits. It's the same process, so you're going to look for your bank account, enter the GL reference, uh, the customer of course and the great thing about it is once you've put the payment amount made sure the check reference number is entered and the classifications are entered then whenever you go to transactions customers and accept customer payments you will be able to apply let me give you an example you will be able to apply customer deposits to open invoices. So here I took up a customer and here's a list of open invoices and here are the lists of uh, unapplied uh, deposits, unapplied customer deposits. Now to apply this I just need to click on here, go back to the invoice and then click on the invoice I want to apply this deposit to. So maybe this one. Okay and I'll just hit save and that's it. Of course I needed to put a location here there you go. So it's as simple as this. I hope this video made sense to you. If so, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Thank you and goodbye.